years ago, the city of Fort Collins attempted to take control of two private trash companies. They were not going to compensate these trash businesses for the loss of their customers. They were just going to take their businesses from them. They did that in a two-part uh, process. The first was through an ordinance where they required these private businesses to reveal their uh, proprietary information, how they actually ran their businesses, including customer databases, um, operating plans, all of that type of information they required these private businesses to turn over to the city. If they refused to turn that information over, then they were not licensed to um, have a business in Fort Collins. The second part of their plan was to take 6,600 customers from these private businesses and force them into what they called a pilot project. And those 6,600 customers would be forced to pay the city for trash services, and they would not no longer have a choice of who they had for their, their trash dollar. Who knows about ICLEI? Most elected officials honestly have no idea what ICLEI is or where the ideas come from. The elected officials who are aware of it uh, a lot of times will deny the association. They will outright lie on camera about their, their membership and their involvement. Uh, most council members do not know about ICLEI. A lot of times ICLEI has city employees um, in their member cities who are bringing these policies forward. ICLEI's mission includes transforming local government. Uh, one of the ways they do that is by operating through city employees um, and subverting the elected official process. They do that through climate action plans that, that give them the authority to override elected officials' authority. They put amazing amounts of pressure on councils, uh, council members and mayors and city managers to adopt these foreign policies. Another mission they have is to equalize income worldwide. That means they want to take your money and spread it around to everyone. Everyone deserves to have the same amount uh, of money as you do. They, their goal includes controlling population, restricting capitalism and consumerism, and eliminating market economies. And as we go through, you'll see how they are very uh, methodical and systematic in, in their processes for doing that. So how do they transform local governments? This is their ultimate goal, is to change the structure of our government and the way we operate. They, they give the authority that elected officials normally have to city employees. So city employees are making decisions without public knowledge, without elected official votes or uh, public input. This comes from the local city's climate action plans or long-term sustainability plans. ICLEI is funded mainly through taxpayer money at the local level. Um, examples of other sources include foundations such as the Home Depot Foundation, Office Depot Foundation, Crespi, and the Orton Family Foundation. These are just four examples of the, the massive amount of money that is poured into ICLEI. And I like to name the, the companies that participate with ICLEI so that you can make choices as a consumer where, uh, where you'd like to shop. So once your city shows commitment to ICLEI through uh, taxpayer dues for their membership fees, that allows them to access federal tax money. So once the city shows local interest and commitment, then they can access the higher uh, levels of money. The federal money comes, of course, from your taxpayer money, uh, taxpayer dollars, stimulus money, and block grants is as how your city is funded through federal tax so these private foundations have billions of dollars that they pour into this ICLEI organization. They finance these uh, the cities and councils and towns which belong to ICLEI through their donations. Those donations are all geared toward global warming and energy uh, programs. In the center we see the orange square that represents ICLEI and all of these um, people around the outside pour money into ICLEI. So we have a taxpayer, private foundations, private businesses. Of course, we all know what the Rockefeller Brothers Fund is. Uh, the United States Environmental Protection Agency is also a funding partner for ICLEI. <coughs> Clarion Associates on the bottom right is one of the consulting firms that ICLEI pays nationwide. So if you live in North Carolina, you probably have a Clarion Associates in your town or city which is being paid millions of dollars to, to plan your long-range sustainability plans or climate action plans. Clarion Associates, I just learned uh, a couple weeks ago, was in Montana and uh, was successful in uh, installing uphill sewage treatment plants in, in small towns. So things that don't make any sense and are not cost-effective are being done through it. operates with our money. The 
city of Golden is not an actual member of ICLEI. However, they are using uh, taxpayer money that is funding ICLEI. Here's how it works. The Orton Family Foundation gave the city of Golden uh, a few million dollars. What they do with that money is uh, pour that money into energy efficient buildings. But for the city of Golden to use that money, they're required to buy Energy Star appliances. Energy Star appliances are the uh, EPA's uh, special program for energy efficient appliances. However, the studies have shown that those Energy Star ratings aren't accurate. So people think they are saving energy when they buy those appliances or light bulbs. But they are able, that company is able to rate their own products, so they found that those ratings are not uh, actually saving people money. <laughs> and again, we have the Brindle Group and the Clarion Group, uh, two consulting firms that works with Ickley on a regular basis, helping the City of Golden plan their buildings and their future. But when Ickley comes to town, they encourage public-private partnerships because that increases their control over what businesses can do. If you take taxpayer money or ICLE money for your business, then the, the city has control over how you, you grow your business or run your business. I always like to do a little bit of a global warming uh, reality check. This is from Climate Gate by Brian Sussman. The, the origins of global warming are it's really interesting if you do some research. It's being used as a tool for changing the way the United States works. Paul Ehrlich is also part of the Foundations of Italy. He wrote the population bomb. And it, most of you probably know that his predictions, of course, didn't come true, that hundreds of millions of people would starve. So carbon dioxide, the, the fiction is this. It's claimed by environmentalists as the cause of global warming. It's the, they say it's the main source of uh, CO2 emissions is the burning of fossil fuels. And the reason environmentalists focus on eliminating personal vehicle use is because of those emissions from the vehicles. The truth about carbon dioxide is fascinating. If you triple the CO2 amounts in the atmosphere, the rice, wheat, barley, and oat yields uh, have a 64% increase. And only 38 thousandths of a percent is the total carbon dioxide in Earth's atmosphere. Less than 3% of 38 thousandths of a percent is actually generated by mankind. So what we're contributing to the Earth's atmosphere is minuscule compared to what the uh, environmental circling. John Holdren is the director of the White House uh, Office of Science and Technology. He's on record saying that he, his goal is to de-develop the United States through political efforts. Those political efforts, he, he is actually using the environmental movement to accomplish that. Who belongs to ICLEI? Almost 1,200 local governments worldwide, 600 in the United States alone. So they operate mainly behind closed doors. They bribe local governments with access to millions of dollars. They also say that, it, that they will uh, allow you to access their toolkits. And when they say toolkits, that's their way of saying, we'll teach you how to take control of private businesses. We will show you how to eliminate individual rights. Italy's target in industries include energy, real estate, development, retail, restaurants, bars, transportations. Yeah. So anything that produces goods or consumes resources is what ICLEI is going after, including human beings. So Fort Collins has what we call an occupancy ordinance. They are limiting and restricting the amount of people who can live in your house. For example, if I wanted to host a missionary family over the summer, I would have to get a permit uh, through the city of Fort Collins. I would ask, have to ask permission to have guests stay in my house for an extended period of time. If I didn't get a permit and was approved for a permit, the fine is $1,000 per day. And the city of Fort Collins is proud to say that they have fined a person $12,000 for violating that occupancy ordinance. So, how, how is it to get into real estate? We have this nice thing called the Property Assessed Clean Energy Bond for homes and business owners who want to improve the energy efficiency of their buildings. However, uh, Fannie and Freddie have amazingly declined to participate in this program because it, what comes with this money is an automatic lien that is held by the federal government, which most people don't know. They're taking this energy efficiency money, improving their homes uh, in a way they believe is going to save them money, but the federal government slaps a lien on your house immediately. Transportation for America, TIDES, SEIU, ACORN, CWA, they're all working together. They're very powerful. They have billions of dollars that they bribe local governments with. 
So how does Zikli affect you personally? Loss of individual rights. For example, our occupancy ordinance. We, we are actually calling people an unauthorized home occupant. <laughs> Ickley pressures businesses in an amazing way. They have a program called Climate Wise where uh, Ickley employees or city employees will come into your business and suggest ways that you could be more energy efficient. Of course, this, uh, most of these policies do not actually save energy. They're very expensive for business owners and it increases the cost uh, to customers. I do want to let you know that there are, um, there are definite risks to exposing corruption at this level. They, they will try everything they can to make you be quiet, to stop talking, and to make you disappear. But if you, if you let that stop you um, from taking action, then they win. It's and just going to get worse it is, it's just going to be a disaster. So what, what other damage does Igly do to businesses? One of the main things uh, they do is their, their unfair advantages. So the city of Fort Collins has over 1 million square feet of empty commercial space right now. This is a direct result of the environmental policies um, that are being forced upon the businesses. When Nickley comes to town and change the budgeting process, you are required to adopt this triple bottom line budgeting process. Instead of making your decisions based on sound financial policy, you're required to, to consider society, economy, and the environment equally. The ultimate goal is to make all of your decisions sustainable. However, the, the definition of sustainable is a, is a bit fuzzy. Nobody can actually say what that means or what the end result is. What happens when, when uh, you use triple bottom line budgeting is you quickly run out of money. You can't afford the sustainable programs. You can't afford all of the, the mandates and the policies based on foreign goals. So you're uh, forced to ask for sales tax increase. That's what the city of Fort Collins is doing right now. We are using this year alone $600,000 to pay a bicycle coordinator to buy bicycles that the city will own and to teach people how to ride their bicycles. That's for one year. We're also spending $2,000 per mile to clear snow from walking trails, paved walking trails. We have 26 paved walking trails, 26 miles of walking trails in Fort Collins. So every time it snows, it's $52,000. We do not have enough money uh, for road repair, fire, or police personnel, but we are, we are planning with bike trails. When I started going to council meetings and reviewing agendas, I kept thinking, how in the world are we getting $3 million of unanticipated revenue? Where does this money come from, and how is it just landing on our, on our doorstep? But that money is coming through ICLE partners and uh, federal block grants for environmental and energy programs. Millions and millions of dollars just falling out of the sky for, for um, energy efficient things. So is it, this is an obvious question. Is this entire movement designed to eliminate or encourage individual rights? Eliminate. Completely eliminate. If you can't even choose your own trash bag or who is living in your home with you, this is a path, on a path, to eliminate our individual rights. So if you're interested in getting involved, start looking at your council um, agendas. Those are the most fascinating documents. I know it sounds dry and horrible to think about, but reading those council agendas will show you where your money's going and where your city's focus is. When we say city employees are given authority over elected officials, how do they legally implement that? Couldn't an elected official officially run the department and fire people who challenged his authority? Or? They, they can't because of the way Italy has formu form formulated their climate action plans and sustainability plans, those, once the city adopts those climate action plans, which sounds wonderful, we all want clean air and um, clean water to drink, it sounds good. The way they present it is so nice for elected officials that they will adopt these uh, climate action plans. However, once the climate action plans are in your city, that in those documents, it says that the city of employees have the right to make these decisions. Article 1, Section 10 says that you are not allowed to enter into any foreign treaty. And because ICLE is a foreign organization with foreign goals and direct opposition to the United States Constitution, 
any elected official who is supporting ICLEI is violating their oath to honor the Constitution.